Hi there, old chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Whoa, I'm glad to see y'all. Yeah, I've been having some fun since the last time I saw you. Hmm, did you uh, notice anything new about me? Anything noticeably different about my appearance that is popping out to you? No? Seriously? I got a new hat. I mean, I know I usually don't wear hats, but I thought, why not? And these glasses are something I'd imagine a fancy schmancy actor wearing in Los Angeles. You lucky? Oh, what inspired all this change? All this wonderful newness? Well, I'll tell you. I was walking around this beautiful city when I realized something. My map was wrong. Well, it wasn't wrong, it was just, uh, outdated. You see, I was using like an old map from like 30 years ago. So I was finding streets that didn't even exist when this map was created. Like, look at this for example. You know that Hollywood sign, right? I mean, it's famous. But did you know that it used to say Hollywood land? I know, I was running around trying to find the Hollywood land sign. Turns out, that's the same sign! The whole time, that was the same thing the whole time. Come on! Where all this desert used to be, there's like parks and houses and all that kind of stuff. It's all new! That's what I'm saying. Jada? What? I said, that's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. Wait, are we talking about the same thing? I highly doubt it. Oh, my bad. I heard you say it's all new and I thought you were talking about... No, what? Never mind. No, no, I have to know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, sorry. Well, since we talked about Mary last week, I figured we were talking about Joseph and all that. Sure wasn't, but now I want to know. What happened? Did Mary tell Joseph about the baby? That's the thing. Mary did tell Joseph, but Joseph wasn't super pleased about the news. But didn't Mary tell him about God and the angel? And how this baby was God's son? Yeah, but I'm not sure he believed her. Or more importantly, he didn't think anyone else would believe her. They all would have been wondering where this baby came from, and it for sure wasn't Joseph. So he was going to leave Mary, even though he still loved her. But then something awesome happened. Disneyland is letting everyone in for free? Oh, I thought everyone was getting let into Disney free because you said something awesome happened, and I figured that was it. Continue. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but an angel came to talk to Joseph. Oh, that's way better. Right? The angel came to Joseph in a dream and told him, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Whoa, that's huge news. It really is. And it was exactly what Joseph needed to hear. So he trusted God's plan from then on? He sure did. He kept Mary as his wife and they patiently waited for Jesus to be born. It was all so exciting for so many reasons. What do you mean? Well, think about it. The birth of Jesus wasn't something small. Thousands of people for hundreds of years have been waiting for Jesus. Really? How? You see, in the Old Testament, way before Jesus was born, there were tons of hints and stories about how a savior would be born. And this savior will go on to wash away all our sin. He would make it possible for everyone to know God. That sounds amazing. It is. And so when Joseph heard this, he knew that Jesus is coming meant everything was going to be new. People's purpose in life would be new, the way they spoke to another, the way they treated each other, everything would be new. All because of Jesus? That's right, all because of Jesus. I guess that makes sense. Why do you say that? Well, I remember when I first started listening and living for Jesus, everything seemed, I don't know, new. The way I looked at everything in my life, it was just like different, better, you know? Oh, I totally get it. Jesus does so much for so many, but one thing's for certain, Jesus makes everything new. Hey there kiddos, today's big idea is super special and that is Jesus makes 
everything new. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. But I figured we can do something new. We are having a lot of talks about angels. So when we say it, let's wave our arms like angel wings when we say it, okay? Ready, one, two, three. Jesus makes everything new. Great job, everyone. Next week is Carl's last week in Los Angeles. And I heard he's gonna have a message for everyone. So make sure you tune in to that time, okay? Perfect, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road Heaters.